Magandang araw mga idol at welcome back dito sa ating channel Pinoy na minaliit at ginawang pampataba ng kartada Ayun kinarma nagretiro matapos makatikim ng suntok at matulog sa lona Pero bago ang lahat kung ang kapalang napadpad dito sa ating channel Ay huwag mo na rin kalimutan na mag subscribe at i-click ang notification bell Para wala kang malalampasan na mga upcoming videos pa natin hindi man kagandahan ang record ng ating kababayan na si John Jimeno sa kanyang record na 20 na panalo, 12 ay talo, isang tabla at 10 ay knockouts, ay basta na lang ipaharap sa mga bagong rising star na mga undefeated fighters para gawing pampataba ng kanilang kartada. Ngunit sa kanilang estilo, nagagamitin lang ang Pinoy upang madagdagan ang record ng kalaban. Ay dyan sila nagkakamali tulad na lang ng makaharap ni Himino ang pambato ng Amerika na si Tuka Canclary na may record noon na 19 na panalo wala pang talo at 13 knockouts ay hindi man lang umabot sa ikalawang rounds ng manockout ng ating kababayan sa unang round lang ng kanilang laban at sa Mexicano na si Carlos Orlenas na may record noon na 22 na panalo at isang talo na tinapos naman ng ating kababayan by round 7 technical knockouts. At ang pangatlo ay itong si Arnold Alejandro na may record na 11 na panalo at isang tabla. Ngunit sa pagkakataong ito ay malaki ang kumpiyansa ng American fighter na tatalunin niya ang ating kababayan. Ginanap ang kanang laban sa Las Vegas, Nevada, USA sa undercard ng laban ni June Ty Wilder vs. Luis Ortiz taong November 23, 2019. Sa unang round pa lang ay naging kalmado lang ang ating pambato. Naghihintay lang ng tamang pagkakataon na matimpohan ang kalaban. At ang makahanap ng tiyempo, itong si Jimeno, ay napabagsak niya itong si Alejandro sa unang round pa lang ng kanilang laban. So, uh, he needs to be careful the rest of the fight here, uh, Alejandro. See if Jimeno could capitalize on right now in those punches. Big hook there. Exchanging now on the inside. Alejandro moving back. His corner telling him, hey, everything's okay, keep calm, keep calm. Camino continues to move forward. Throwing punches, Alejandro. That's in the, his arsenal, in Arnold Alejandro's arsenal. Yeah, and he doesn't want to get caught coming in because yeah. he is rushing in with... Step up for Alejandro. He's going to want to keep Camino off of him. That's engaging and bringing the fight to Alejandro. Alejandro's been very defensive up to this point. Camino pawing with that jab, slips that straight from Alejandro. Alejandro being very methodical, cautious too with the punches that he does throw. Doesn't want to get caught again with any big. Camino doing a good job of keeping his foot on the outside of Alejandro's lead foot. Both fighters exchanging, Alejandro doing a good job of slipping punches as they're working on the inside. He tagged him there with that left, so uh, that could be the recipe for him for the rest, the rest of the round. So come down to the final seconds of this round number two. Good exchange there. Uh, a little bit going back, but he he's, he's regaining it. He saw a little more in the second. Good exchange just now. One, two, miss. Camino responds. Yeah, he's been all... All aggressive, all... Uh, that lost column in zero is Alejandro. But he has a tough cookie now here in Jimeno. So it's, uh, it's a big challenge for him, suffering that not be behind big on the cards at this point. And it's an eight-rounder, so in the judge's eyes, you want to just basically start uh, working a little harder than your opponent. It's good straight there by Alejandro. This would work if he would not have been knocked down in that first round. Yeah. Yeah, but now... We're starting at the fight. You will get that first round 10-8 for Jimeno? Yeah. Yep. Behind in this fight. 
trying to pick up the pace. And sometimes these records are deceiving, though, Felix. Let's come to the final 10 seconds of round number three. Camino coming forward. Alejandro missing his right. Was Alejandro. Gets tapped by the power jab of Camino. Camino coming in with that straight. So I mentioned the Wilder Ortiz. And both guys really thinking in there. No, a lot of punches haven't been thrown, but it's a lot of mental warfare here. Jimino was doing much better in reach. Let's see what uh, Jimino can do to counter that. Hunter just tagged Jimino right now. Like I mentioned, probably Hunter in the first round. Well, Hunter letting his hands go a little bit more. It's keeping uh, Hamino at bay. Yeah, Good series of punches there from him. Alejandro feel that. Alejandro digging to the body. Three punch combination. Follows it up to the body again. He's doing good work now. Yeah, Hamino has slowed down definitely since the first round. Could be that body work. But again, he, he has to step it up even a little more, I think, Alejandro, to win this fight. Keep this up going for a while. Oh, Camino comes back. It's the best we've seen from him in a while. World champions like Fernando Vargas, Mikey Garcia, Robert Garcia. So we got round number five here at the MGM Grand. Alejandro fighting his way back into this fight. Uh, I didn't know that you have to battle. That's what Alejandro has been doing since the first round. Trying to pick apart uh, Jimino, slowly but surely. Look at that, just evaded six punches there. Yeah. So there's skills. It's just that he has to start connecting and hurting Jimino. Yeah, he does. He has to make him miss and make him pay. There goes Jimino bobbling his head, making believe he's hurt. I don't think so. He's found a lot of success over the course of these uh, five rounds, going to the body with that straight. Could be a contributing factor as to why Jimino has slowed down a bit. Jimino looks like to uh, have received here a little second breath here. Looks a little better. Trying to attack here. His hands are a little down, Alejandro. That could be uh, yeah, I think that just is oh! At pagdating naman dito sa ikasyam na round, ay dito na napabagsak ni Jimino ang American fighter na si Arnold Alejandro nang tamaan ng sulidong kanang kamao at bumagsak ito sa luna. Sa lakas ng suntok ni Jimino ay ni hindi nga ito magawang makatayo para ituloy ang laban. Kaya dito na napagdesisyonan ng referee na itigil na ang laban. Sa labang ito ay natikman ng masaklap na unang pagkatalo ni Alejandro at mula nun ay nagpahinga ito ng isang taon sa pagboboxing. Bumalag si Alejandro sa pagbaboxing sa taong 2021 at nakaharap niya itong si Jeremy Abram ngunit bigo itong manalo sa kanyang kababayan dahil naging tabla ang kanilang laban. So hanggang dito na lang po muna mga idol at sana ay nagustuhan nyo ang video ito. Huwag kalimutang magsubscribe para updated ka sa mga susunod ko pang mga video. Ingat!